In this video, we're back for another episode of our Train to 1 Million Coin series. Now, the method that I'm going to show you in this video has actually saved this series because I've lost some coins. Honestly, it's... Ugh. Knocks me a bit sick actually thinking about it. Leds, if you enjoyed this video, please do smash a massive, massive like on it. I think this will be my last video before the announcement for the giveaway winner. And the giveaway winner will be tomorrow on Christmas Eve. So if you want to win a £25 Amazon gift card or PayPal, whatever it is, like this video, subscribe if you're new, send me a picture on my Instagram. I am going to be streaming tomorrow like I have been doing every day, but we're going to be doing some player pick packs, I think, providing that they're still in the store. So if you're looking forward to that, lads, drop a massive, massive like on it. But this is the trading method which saved this series. Let's get into it. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, jumping over to this series, the Trading to 1 Million Coins series. This series where we go through and trade from nothing to a million coins on a next-gen console. Now, what have I been up to? There's been quite a few things that I've been up to to be honest. I've been doing all of the foundation SBCs. Now I was going to put something in this for the video from the stream today. However, if you watch the stream today, you will know that uh, we got Nafal. This is basically what we're looking at right here. And in addition to that as well, I've been selling on my McTominay's. Like I said the other day on the buy this car before it's too late video, I was telling you lads to buy under a thousand coins. However, I was going to be purchasing the tiniest bit over because I get an average price. My average price on all of these McTominay's was 1.1k, selling on an average of around 1.6k. So making around 500 coins profit. There are thereabouts after tax. Literally there are thereabouts. And I think I had about either between, I think it was 40 and 50 cards so I made around 20k something like that not loads in the world but that video blew up I honestly didn't expect it to blow up so if you lost coins from that investment I do apologize for it but I did say to people to invest under a thousand coins nothing more than that but I did see quite a few people saying I've just picked up loads at 1.4k 1.5k what shall I do and it's like yeah you've 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 overpaid but as you'll be able to see right here this is basically how we are looking now there's one thing that i need to talk about and it is gonna be this kubo kubo as you can see i bought at 24k now the other night i think it was monday night i think it was i was looking at kubo on the market and i was just thinking that he was just the tiniest bit too cheap i thought you know what he's going for around 25,000 coins he's got to around 22 23 24 and i thought you know what that's just way too cheap for that kind of card i thought that it was a decent looking card now, fast forward 24 hours from me thinking that, EA released loads of promo packs. So, the investment uh, went Pete Tong. It, it, it's 19k. Now, I personally still think that 19k is still too cheap for this card. That's in my opinion anyway. I'm not going to tell you lads to go and invest him or do anything like that. If you want to, you can do. If you don't, don't do it. Either way though, I was picking him up at around a average price. I think I worked it out. The average price was around 21k because I picked up a couple at 27, no, 2750 and some at 24 and then the average price came out to like 21750 or something like that. So I was thinking to pick him up at that price. I then sell him on at say 26, 27, 28, 20 39 30k do that over a 24 hour period however i ended up buying five six of him and putting around a hundred thousand coins into this card now when i started this series i said that i was basically want to do videos every time i make 100k so like 100k make a video 200k make a video 300k now if i hadn't bought this kubo i would be on over 300 thousand coins now to be fair though if my auntie had a dick she'd be my uncle ha 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 either way though yeah, I, I messed up. I messed up. I'm going to hold my hands up. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm not the best trader on YouTube. Nowhere near the best trader on YouTube. I just make videos about trading because I enjoy it. And it's my job as well. But I bought six of them, all at an average price of around 21k, which brings us to around 120k there or thereabouts that I've invested, which is absolutely woeful. Firmino, I ended up not losing coins on him. I bought a couple of Firminos, around five of which, because I think that he still will go up around foot champions. However, I picked him up at like, I think an average price around 31 and a half K, I think. And last night he got down to 30k. So you can see here that I actually got one at 30k and I reinvested back into him. Now, I'm going to be showing you lads the method which sort of saved this series because honestly this series was on the ropes over the past couple of days that's why i've not uploaded because i've literally trying to been making investments 
and I've just been losing coins time and time again. Now, this method is a bit more of a beginner method. However, this method, honestly, every time that I do like a cycle of players that I do bidding with, now I've slated mass bidding in the past, however, I feel like this is a bit different. I mean, it is mass bidding, but it don't matter. It'll make sense. However, with this method, I was able to make around 5,000 coins every five minutes with it. Now, it's not the best if you've got loads and loads of coins. However, for our coin total of around 100,000 coins, it's perfect. Now, I've used this method time and time again through our all different FIFAs. And I said this on stream today. I actually think that I... I think me saying that I came up with this method is a bit of a stretch because I can't guarantee that I definitely did. However, I remember making the first video about this method back in FIFA 16 before I privatized a lot of my videos. Now, what you need to do, max price 750 coins, or to be honest, you can set this max price to around 2,500 and then this to 3,000. You can play around with this max price, to be honest, as long as the min buy now is sort of a couple hundred coins or a couple thousand coins higher, you're normally in the money with it. Set the quality to silver, you can do that by just going over here, right stick, press, there you go. Rather than clicking on it and going to like silver or silver common. Then what you do is you search up on the market and basically you find yourself cards who have got bids on them. Now, with silver stars coming out tonight, this is a very, very good time to do this method. Now, I'm going to try and get this video up before 6 p.m. I'm hoping so you guys can go and use this method. But to be fair, even after silver stars come out, you can still rinse and repeat this method because it doesn't really change too much. Now, basically what we're doing here is we're coming through and we are taking a look at cards individual prices. Now, for example, here with this Jake Livermore card, it's 74 rated card, and he's going on the market right now for around 1.9k. I've just seen there is anything cheaper, 1.7 cheaper, 1.5k, and there's nothing cheaper than 1.5k. Now, we've just found him on an open bid at 800 coins. So, if we win this for around a thousand coins, we could sell on at 1.4k, undercut that 1.5k that we saw, and then we'll get a sell on with that card. Now, with this, you are going to get outbid quite a lot on individual cards, and I wouldn't recommend to just focus on one individual card like I'm doing now. I'm I'm just sort of showing you the method now i'm going to go to 1.1 just to see if i get the card or not but what i would recommend to do is just keep going through and keep bidding on as many cards as you can do because if you keep bidding on as many cards as you can do each time that you cycle through and go to sell them you're going to be making around 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 coins profit after tax. And if you're doing that every five minutes, it's, it's not too bad. And this was the method that I was doing on stream last night. If you're able to get a link to the unlisted video from last night, I'd highly recommend to go and check it out because honestly, this saved my ass last night. Just going on and just doing some trading just with ease and going back to basics with this series was probably one of the best things that I could have done last night. Now, I could have started to panic sell my cards or say, for example, I could have gone and reinvested in cards. But if I would have done that, this series, genuinely would have been cancelled and that's not something I want to do. I've never seen any support on any kind of series that I've done on my channel besides this series. Honestly, I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking about what to do next with this series. I really, really enjoy making it and I hope that you guys enjoy watching it as well. So for example here, we've just found this Thierry Carrera who's going for what looks like 2.2k, 2k, nothing cheaper than 2k and he's going on open bid for around 1,000 coins as you can see right here. So with all these cards coming in, I've got a Joe Williams coming in which is good. I've got a Congre coming in at 600 coins and you can slowly start to see that I'm building my transfer list up more and more and with this guy uh, I'm not really going to be getting into too many bidding wars but the thing is with this a lot of the cards do slip through the cracks and a lot of people will then go on and use these cards over silver stars or say for example you pick up some cards they might be good for different SBCs or say for example there's something new that EA have brought out and say for example as well that they don't sell on straight away you can always just keep them in your club and sell them at a later date because silver players fluctuate so much maybe one day someone just decides you know what I'm going to price fix this card because I mean I don't know why because people do that for some reason but you can see right here that automatically I'm going through and I'm making myself some deals so I found a Matondo right here on open bid at 700 coins now I know that he usually goes up for silver stars and his next one up is around 1.4k so I think I might hold on to him for silver stars because he is one of the players who do does go up does go up but as you'll be able to see that we are getting out bid on it are we getting outbid on it i think we are we've got this card here who i've been outbid on who's going for like 1.1k and then i've got a load of other cards as well now like i said this is going to be something that you constantly rinse and repeat and if you don't make profit it's fine because eventually you will do so let's sort through some of the cards so far i may go through and do some trading with this but i sort of just want to get the video up as quick as possible i want these videos to be the methods that i'm using and then when i do the 
stream is the live trade and if that makes sense. So with this guy, 1.2k, 1k, 900 coins, 700 coins. So I think that he will go up tonight for Silver Star. So I'm going to list up at 1,000 coins. Next to him is Kalulu, who's going for what looks like 750 coins, which isn't really too much, but it doesn't matter too much because we've got him at 350. And you might be looking at these cards and going, Luis, you're only making like 300, 400 coins a card. Every now and again, you'll find cards who go for a lot. For example, this Gomez right here, his cheapest one is 1.8k. We got him at 600, so we can make double coins on that. And say if I'm making 500 coins per player, if I get 10 players, that's 5k. After tax, it's 4,750, so it's not the best in the world. But say, for example, you're sat there sniping for five minutes. I know for a fact that there'll be a hell of a lot more competition on cards who are 4 5k under than this method that I'm using now. So next up, now this guy right here who's going for around 800 coins. I picked him up at 400, so that's fine by me. Next to him is Joe Williams, who's going for 600 coins, which isn't really the best in the world but it's still double profit so can't really complain and then finally I've got Hussaini who's going for 700 coins and I paid 650 for him so I've probably made a tiny tiny L on that one it's not the best but if you keep relisting 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 they will eventually sell now we've actually been very very lucky here because we've managed to get this Montondo who I know does always go up in price 94 pace and I think he's got oh I thought he had four star four star he doesn't unfortunately so I'm going to keep him on my chance you know what actually no I'll list him up at 1.5k and then hopefully he sells on before 6pm. We've got this Schwab who goes for 450 coins. Not the best in the world. I'll sell mine at 500. Then we've got Junior Santos who goes for 550. I got him at 400 so not the best. 500 coins there. And then finally we've got Akin Fenwa who's coming in at, at the minute, 1,000 coins. There are thereabouts. Yeah. A thousand coins isn't really too bad. It looks like someone's trying to price fix him by the looks of it because the time remaining at the bottom really isn't changing, which is fine by me because I'll list up mine at a thousand coins and I bet that they buy it up. And then as soon as you've done that, if you go over to your transfer list, some of the players will already be selling on, which is the best thing about this. They don't take too long to sell on. Sometimes they won't sell on instantly. What I'd recommend to do is sell overnight and then in the morning, if they're still not sold on, just double check the price, undercut the tiniest bit more because sometimes you can undercut by 100, 200 coins. But if you undercut by a hell of a lot more, someone else will be like, oh my God, that's a deal though. He's 1.5K and someone's just listed up at 500 coins. I'm going to make loads of profit. And the actuality is you've bid at like 150 and you're making some coins. So this is basically the method which has absolutely saved this series. Honestly, without this method, you would not be seeing this video today. It has honestly saved my ass so, so much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and keep bidding on some cards and just see if I can see anything which is sort of of the tiniest bit of value or maybe. Maybe I get some amazing deals and if I do, I'll come back and show you lads. But my main aim for now is going to be getting up to 150k, getting rid of those Kubos, getting rid of my Firminos, and then what we're going to do is get into some special card trading in another episode because we need to start accelerating up now to the 500k mark. But I don't mind this method, I can't lie, lads. Alright boys, I have been away, I have done some trading. It is the tiniest bit later because... I went and edited the first part of the video and now I'm back. So this is what our transfer list is looking like at the minute. Told you I was selling McTominay's on today, but here you go. We've had all these sell on so far and these players, I think they've gone through for the full hour cycle or they're coming to the end of the hour cycle. And this is what I mean. I'm going to keep relisting, 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 relisting. And that's just how it works, to be honest, Les. There's not really anything that you can do. You've just got to relist, relist some more and then relist the tiniest bit more. But overall though, boys, I think this is a very good method. And you know what? Maybe I didn't make the most coins in the episode, right? Maybe I should be on more coins by now, but I'm having fun and you lads seem to be enjoying these videos so if you enjoy this video lads please do drop a like on it comment down below if you need any help with any trading methods but i think that's when we're wrapping this video up here is the trading method which saved my ass and here's what everything sold on for very very happy by the way about this matondo i may go and take another look at matondo at some point i can't lie because i do like the look of him because he is fluctuating quite a bit. Okay, so there's actually some cheap ones popping up. Either way though, boys, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on it. Comment down below if you need help with anything. Subscribe if you're new, but this is 6 and I am off. Goodbye.